What's up, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So unfortunately, I was forced to upgrade to Windows 11 for reasons that I won't go into here. Do you need to upgrade? Probably not. Anyways, what exactly is this video about? Well, one of the annoying things about Windows 11 is the oversimplification and trying to get everything to work for mobiles, touchscreens, etc. It really doesn't work well for mouse and keyboard. So one of the first things you'll probably be doing is fixing up the right click menu, then the Windows Explorers, and then the actual start bar itself. You'll push it across to the left, and if you're like me, you're not going to be happy with this over here. You'd like the old way of scrolling through apps on your PC and pinning things, and that's exactly where software such as Stardox, Start11 comes in. Unfortunately, this is paid software, and if you can find a free alternative, I highly recommend you do so. Anyways, this guide over here is going to show you how to do something fancy with this. Head across to Start button and customize what the actual Start button in the bottom left of your screen looks like. As you can see, I've simply picked the Biohazard preset here. It's blue, hovering over it, it turns green, and when you press it, it goes white. How exactly do we create a custom image like this? Well, it's incredibly simple. All we have to do is click Pick Image, and inside of the folder here, click at the very top to copy the path, Control A, Control C, then I'll open it up in a new file browser. I'll hold Start, press R, paste it in here, hit Enter, and a new file browser will open in the correct place. This is where we're going to be building our new icon, just so we don't navigate out of this folder. What I'll do is copy one that I like, and I'll be using as a template of sorts. I like this one over here that goes darker when it's offered over, and much darker when it's clicked. I'll simply hit Ctrl Z to copy it, and Ctrl V to paste it, and I'll give it admin privileges if necessary. If your photo editing software, such as GIMP, Photoshop, or Affinity Photo, my personal favorite, doesn't work well in administrative folders, you may want to put this in a place like your desktop for now. Now, all we have to do is open it up in photo editing software. For this, I'll be using Affinity Photo over here. So I'll drag it in, I'll copy, and we can start working with it. Just remember to keep the background transparent, and we'll be working in this image size here, which is 42 by 120, with each block being 42 by 40. Let's see this one, 42 by 40, and finally 42 by 40. So that's the amount of space we have to work with our images. In fact, I'll just create different blocks here, so we remember later on. I'll color these slightly differently. There we go. So we have our normal, our hovered, and then our active. Let's go ahead and start painting here. For this, I'll have to get into my projects, then Technobo branding, and inside of here, I have all of my logos. I'll be importing an SVG just to work off of, though you could place literally anything you want in your document and make it look how you please. So dragging and dropping it in over here, copying out the actual logo itself, resizing it. I'll place it nice and in the center of our first block over here, the inactive block. I'll copy it to the hover block and finally to the active block over here. There we go. So this was the original image that we started working with. And these are our new images. In fact, I may want to make these a bit smaller. And I don't quite like the aliasing, so I'll make them even pixels. Anyways, there we go. I have my images placed. The top one won't have any background behind it, and the other two I'll make black and change the opacities of both of them. So they're probably around maybe 25% and maybe 50% for the last one here. Maybe a bit darker, 75, 60. That sounds about right, 60 and they don't go all the way to the edges. I like the way that this one looks, so I'll work off of this. Then for the one above this, this is around 40%. I'll expand my background over here, and then delete the actual original image. There we go. You can't exactly see what it is, but if we place a picture behind it, as such, you'll see exactly what it looks like. That should look quite nice. Awesome. I'll go ahead and save this, save it as flattened, so effectively I'm saving the PNG file here, and opening it up in photos, you can see exactly what it looked like. In fact, it's leaking out a bit. And refreshing photo view over here, it looks okay. We'll see how this looks on my start menu. So I'll copy the file, head back to start 11, pick image, paste it in here, continue. And now that it's here, I can select it. I'll rename it to say techno, select it again, open. There we go. Now, as you can see in the bottom left, I have a Techno logo here, and when I hover over it, it gets a nice blue glow to it. If I click it, it glows quite nicely and displays Techno. Awesome. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Of course, you can customize this to your heart's content. If you'd like to add the same sort of curved edges and things like that, you're more than free to do exactly that. In fact, just to fit in with Windows 11, I think I'll do exactly that. So I'll simply pick rounded edges and I'll push the corners out a bit more. There we go. 
Awesome. Save, save flattened. And once again, pick image. So I'll rename it first. Then I'll copy and replace it. There we go. Select. And once again, it's here. Hover over, clicking it. It looks a lot better. I think I'll have to mess around with the color scheme a bit and eventually take it to a place where I'm happy. There we go. I think I'm a lot happier with that. Yeah, white background, just a nice glow behind it. Awesome. So that's really about it for this quick video. This isn't sponsored or anything. I just really despise the Windows 11 start menu and I would take anything over that, especially something I made myself, which is rather awesome. So thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot. I'll put this in a safe place and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.